Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? So, as you guys can kind of see, the Frostwing pack uh, is a thing now. Much like the Gargantua was for, uh, for the past couple of updates. Um, as you guys can all tell, Frostwing is now a familiar that you can buy. Um, now, the question lies, uh, and I'm sure some of you Peta wins out there are probably thinking, is it worth it? What exactly is awesome about Frostwing? Alright, so first of all, Frostwing can basically increase the travel time by 50% when you get him, but it does cost skill stones. FYI, if anybody didn't know, skill stones are a little bit on the expensive side, alright? Now, I'm not saying that you should be discouraged by this, but that is something that uh, just know is a little bit expensive for 30 minutes. Now, Having that said, a 50% increase all right, to travel time is a mildly big deal, especially compared to 300% when it's at level 10. And some of you are probably thinking, well, when would this ever be important? I would say that you guys would probably see this, you know, you'd more than likely, all right, if you're somebody out there I mean, from what I can tell, right, if you guys have ever had those situations where people are trying to double tap you, meaning you're going to get two attacks in roughly about the same time. Now, most of the time when those people attack you, they've got fast speed. They're like, boom, you know, they, when they port right beside you, they get five seconds flat. This is going to make it so that now if you get like a 300% reduction, now it's going to take him forever. To march on you. So for trap accounts, this is actually pretty useful, especially if it lasts for 30 minutes, right? Because even a 50% reduction is a considerable amount of time that could be spent switching over the gear. It could be used to get reinforcements and a rally. And frankly, another example of where this would really, I think, come in handy is if, you know, if somebody out there was trying to avoid multiple rallies going off at the same time if you really wanted to slow those down then this would come in handy as well because really what this does for you is it basically makes the enemy travel time reduce which is in essence it makes it longer which is what you want out of it basically but um obviously anybody to everybody out there is probably going to go after the small but sure enough bonuses of having these familiars um you know one to five percent doesn't sound like much, but realize that 5% is a lot in terms of actually getting it inside the actual leadership tree. There is a lot of a lot, a lot of effort that people go through going from 7 to 10. So for that reason alone, you may want to consider it. Now, granted, you know, if you guys are out there thinking, well, is this worth it? Look, all I can say is, is from this perspective, at least on that standpoint alone, I definitely think at least having him, maybe not an elder, but just having him is probably better than not. All right. Now, unlike where Gargantua was purely for, you know, cap attack, that was his selling point. This guy has got an overall use. And it, and that's, in my opinion, kind of something that you guys out there, I think, will definitely notice or at least recognize right away. I mean, if anything, right, if, if anything you'll ever find yourself in a situation with, you already kind of get an idea now just by looking at it. Now, obviously, that 20% in infantry defense really doesn't sway one or the other. Nobody's really going to notice this nor care too much, but it's really just the army attack in this that anybody's going to care about. Now, I would speculate, right, that if they're going to do Gargantua and they're going to do Frostmook, more than likely they're going to proceed to keep doing the gear set monsters. Which would, uh, meaning that, you know, if you go into your event equipment, you know, you can almost expect now that you're probably going to have a Queen Bee, a Mecha Trojan, a Tidal Titan, a Blackwing, a Saber Fang, and vice versa. And knowing our luck, it's either going to be representative, representative of the stats that they are responsible for. So in the case of like Terrathorn, Infantry, Gargantua, Cab, Jade Worm, Range, Mega Maggot, Range, Slash infantry you know and and that's the thing it's really neither here nor there with with those particular speculations because obviously we don't really know what's coming up yet but 
I just wanted to go ahead and kind of briefly go over that because again, this is new and obviously some of you out there who probably just now heard about the sigil research, you know, you're probably thinking, well, great. While all these new additions are coming into the game, that's just making the gap even bigger. But I mean, really, if if you're out there and you're mild pay to play, you know, would, would is this really going to be that big of a deal? Not really. I mean, I think most of the small pay to play are not going to be affected by this. Um, although I will say that I think just about anybody that does have this will find it useful to have a 50% at least reduction because that's that's some time that can be shaved off. And I mean, to give you an idea of just like how much 50% can do, all right, to start off, all right, I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you. So I have 116%, all right, at 116%. And we're gonna we're gonna say roughly, okay, to go from here to there is going to take. Let's see, actually looking at it in from a gatherer's perspective, um, and we'll pick the sw the smallest unit type or that I have accessible. So tier twos, okay, it's gonna take a minute and sixteen seconds. Now I'm gonna try and go ahead and just mildly increase this by fifty percent. So I'm going to pick things that I know will give a pretty close approximation of that. Um, so I got 50, so there's 30, so that'd be, yeah, that's pretty close. Uh, and then I just need 10% or so. We can probably get that out of, uh, that's 21. I get these. Okay, that'll do. All right, and now if I look at it, it should be pretty close on the money. So yeah, it's 168 compared to 116. So it's a little over 50, but still kind of gives you an idea. Not a huge difference really. And with tier ones, it's a minute and seven. Okay, <laughs> so you, you literally shave a minute and 16 to a minute and 7, which is only like 9 or 10 seconds. Doesn't sound like a lot, but again, it can be relevant in longer distances. But, you know, that 300% difference is huge. Like, if you were to get a maxed, a Frostwing would be pretty fucking OP. I, I think the almost average player would notice that almost right away. Because 300% reduction is, well, that's just really, that's a lot. Like, if, if you really put that in perspective, that will almost certainly slow down any march that somebody sends at you. Because most marches, including mine, all right, if I was to go into gather gear, and this is, this is like top-notch gathering gear, okay, even with this on, I've only got 220. So a 300% reduction would be huge. And that's counting if you even had travel speed gear. If you don't have travel speed gear, that's going to hit hard like a rock. All right. So, again, just giving you some perspective, because, again, that's that's a lot that you're reducing when you get this guy to Elder. Like, this is actually fairly OP when it's all said and done, especially seeing as how the cooldown time is only eight hours. But, again, remember what I said, that skill stones are not exactly cheap, so... And not to say that they can't be easily produced, because you can do Helldance, and I'm not saying it's impossible, but I'm just saying it's it's a little bit more expensive than people realize, gymming wise. All right, but for the most part, all right. The the one thing that I will say though is I think the average pay to play player will probably struggle trying to get this guy maxed, because mind you, you only get like a medal. <laughs> okay, I mean, just think about that for a second. It's five dollars. You get five of those medals. And, I mean, hello. Anybody to everybody that has ever had a familiar can probably guess, okay, if you had to pay $5 for every medal, okay, there's 10 there to go to blue. There's 80 there to go to purple. And then there's 120 to go to, you know, to get in some of these monsters. It's not just 80, it's 120. And knowing your luck because of Frostwing being a level 5, uh, yeah, it's not going to be cheap. 
All right. So, I mean, I'm not saying that it's it's doable because, again, I'm going to say that you're probably going to get this somewhere between 50 to 75 percent. But even still, like, I'm just going to say that, you know, with the even like a 75 to 100 percent reduction, you're going to see that come in handy. You know, 50 percent, probably not so much. I mean, on the longer distances, it will certainly know. You'll see it, though, because. I mean, something that's like two minutes long will now be just a hair bit longer. And the longer the distance, the more, you know, the more that's going to be. Mind you, though, it only lasts 30 minutes. Um, the army attack bonus there, though, is pretty helpful right away. Uh, I think just about anybody that gets this guy is probably going to find that to come in handy, especially on the long term. Like the people that are like trying to max their research and stuff. Like, they're going to want that almost right away because pretty much everybody to anybody that's trying to get to the very bare minimum. So I'm talking like the rally dudes through Battle Royale. Those are the kind of people that are going to go all over that stuff. But needless to say, this is pretty much the Frostwing packed familiar that you guys have all come to know. And again, like I said, I would expect more on the way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.